<laughs> you know, and it's Amer- It's not the fault of some corporations or Donald Trump. It's like Walmart kills all small yeah, the town small economies. And- but it's not Walmart's fault. It's the fault of the fucking people. I used to have a house upstate. In upstate New York, and I and there and there was there was a town that had all these old, beautiful old diners and general stores, mm-hmm. and they all closed one by one because of Walmart. But it wasn't fucking Walmart's fault; it was the people who lived in that town yeah. that don't give a shit about their neighbors. But is it giving it's, a it's shit? It's the American basic consumer who's like, mm-hmm. well, okay, I could spend I could spend thirteen cents less on a mop. Yeah. So fuck my fucking neighbor. <laughs> Fuck my neighbor who's had that store in his family for, you know, who's who's taken care. You know, there's like a million George Bailey moments in there, that town's history, where yeah. the whole, well, I'll give I, I'll give a check to your, you know, baseball Let's, teams with names, John, John's General Store. Right. Yeah. Like those, the whole community coming together to do stuff. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. I want to buy a Jim Carrey movie three pack <laughs> for $7. So <laughs> fuck the old movie theater with the Wurlitzer organ. <laughs> but think of like, think of Blockbuster Video. Now that caused a big thing because it pretty much closed down all the little mom and pop video stores yeah. which was a great family business which was a family business yeah. and yep. shit like that i remember those things and having to go green in and lawn, you'd have to buy a, nice a membership lawn. fee when you yeah. first get in when it was like a hundred bucks and and that was just to try to keep the store yeah to keep the alive. store open to like but then blockbuster came around now what do you want to do go into the mom and pop and wait a week for the the latest release yeah why don't you why don't because you fucking I want wait a little now. bit now I want it now. So fuck the family <laughs> that opened that store. Yeah. And by the way, fuck them that they used to think about what movies you might like. <laughs> that you might walk <laughs> in and they go, Anthony, you like comedy. Anthony, we got a whole section for Do you. Do you even know Remember who that conversation Francois Tati right, is? Right, right, and they'd right, show right. you something that we went and found this. Blockbuster <laughs> would never do that for you. I, fuck them. <laughs> I, I agree with both of you, but... So that you can uh, the, the local, save a little bit of fucking money. The local place that Ann's talking about, you had to wait for some asshole to bring back the nice new... Oh, it's, it's yeah, out. You'd be like, it's out. It's like, it's, what? when is it coming back? I want to watch that yeah, fucking so, thing. Again, and then Blockbuster fuck said, the fuck ability. that. The Blockbuster said, look, we could just put 100 copies mm-hmm. on the shelf. So you're thinking the, the whole uh, uh, loyalty thing should outweigh the convenience? Absolutely, because you're supporting somebody who... Who is there's a human being and a family who's living off that business and they give a shit about you. But given by the way, where's Blockbuster? It's I fucking know, gone. gone. So they leave a vacuum. Digital, you digital can't rent a delivery fucking now. video anymore. Yeah, but, but why would you? you digital if, delivery. If there was video stores, you know why? It's like bookstores. A mm. bookstore is not going just away a place too, yep. where you can buy books. It's a place where somebody expresses themselves by deciding what books to put out there and what books they want to offer their community. Right. And that gets replaced by Barnes and Nobles, which means you get the same fucking books that every place in the world gets. I mean, not just America. Right. Everybody, every bookstore has exactly the same books now. I mean, yeah. that's a map. People don't realize what a massive. <laughs> it used to be you go to that bookstore, you're going to get some weird off color books different. of this kind, or right. you're going to get maybe a right wing bookstore, a left wing bookstore. That used to be how people fucking. <laughs> right. And then it's so black. So Barnes and Nobles comes, and the difference is a family business will hang on through the tough years if they have half a chance. Yeah. But a a corporate business will go. Oh, we're making. We're not making a ten trillion dollars. Just pull up stakes, (laughs) and they're gone. (laughs) So now there's no more fucking bookstores. That's fucking amazing. Or or, uh, video stores. Yeah. No bookstores. No video stores. Right. Yeah. The big Barnes Noble on the Upper West. But yeah, because those are predatory businesses. Given your thinking, though. Wouldn't we never progress? Like, wouldn't who's the, progressing? That's the well. That's I, not mean with, with, I mean, with everything. Like, wouldn't we n- not look at the automotive business, which yeah. is horrible now, of course, because of the outsourcing and everything. But early on, there were guys working those lines. Um, what about the technology to come in and use robots that did eliminate jobs, but it makes the car better and faster and. and yeah, but and, that's exactly the thing. These things like bookstores and video stores, though, they weren't improved; they were destroyed. And, and and a book is not a car. It's not a product that needs to be perfected like a technology. It's about the oh, having a way of life. But now you just download it on Kindle. Yeah. Like no, exactly. But it's rubbed out a whole 
getting out of your house and going to a bookstore, meeting the bookstore guy and other people. He used to get fucking laid by going to bookstores. <laughs> a way that people used to get laid is by going to a bookstore and standing in a section that makes you look smart. <laughs> and then a chick comes around. Yeah. Oh, do you also oh, like really? this book? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm perusing hey. this. Yeah, uh, you can't you do that anymore. When I grew up in Boston and there was a wow. place in Harvard Square called The Coffee Connection. And this was a place that was obsessed with coffee. And they had coffees from all around the world. And they'd have stuff like you'd get a, you'd get, uh, um, like a cappuccino and they'd shave chocolate onto mm, it. Not like a canister of chocolate powder. It, it took time. I mean, it's you, like, They had a yeah. cheese grater yeah. and a b block of chocolate and they'd shred chocolate onto the fucking thing for you. That's like how good it was. You sound like, like my grandfather. No, if my you, grandfather talking to me. You don't even understand no, the you have old no days. Idea. And <laughs> I know the you point is about to make, You'd man. go to the fucking coffee connection right. and you'd sit there like trembling <laughs> and they'd bring you this thing that would just change your life. You know, they'd go, hey, you want to try Turkish? We have a new Turkish coffee today. It's a weird oh, that thing. Sounds good. Never yeah. tried it. So then Starbucks opens down the street, but there's Coffee Connection hangs on. So Starbucks opens another one, like, on the other side of them. <laughs> Starbucks isn't doing so great that they can open another one. They're just trying to fucking kill. <laughs> oh, shit. So they open, like, five within a block of the place until Coffee Connection goes, this is getting hard. And they <laughs> sell themselves. They go, okay, let's just yeah, be at Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then Starbucks buys them and then closes the other ones, and then you're just left with fucking just one choice. You get and, Starbucks. And the quality of Starbucks is horrible. It's now. okay. And the it, it instant was Starbucks right isn't making first... a profit, they'll yeah. give up, and then there won't be a fucking place to even get coffee. Right. Then we go yeah, back yeah. to having no coffee again. No coffee. He's right. So, I remember wow, the yeah. I remember the lumber stores. Mm. I remember we did a lot of uh, oh, renovation on our lumber. old house because we had seven yeah. kids, small house, where so we were constantly adding rooms and this and that. Mom and pop lumber <laughs> shop. Mom and pop. Yeah, I would yeah. get in the car with my dad. I remember like it was yesterday. We go to the local uh, lumber guy. He knew my dad's first name. We got this for you. We made your pile. It's Putting all a dormer set. on the house, are you? And, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you're but gonna need some of it. No, don't. I'll come over here. I'll help you out. But it, you need that for the joists. But, mm -hmm. but there was a, it was a social thing, too, man. How yes. are the kids? And how are your were kids? Very and social. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, the Home Depot. It's a fucking massive warehouse, and no one wants to fucking help you. It's you're and just mad and right when you walk in. sad people working there. Right. Yeah. The, bu the buying of the lumber is not a happy exchange. It used to be that you could say <laughs> to yourself, you know what, if I, get, if I invest in a good saw... And I and I get some trucks. I could go out and get some fucking poplar and cut it well, <laughs> and people will come here and build fucking houses with it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you go and you go, hey, you got some nice poplar, not as good as Joe Wilson's. Yeah. Right. Well, mine is down right. three cents. Right. Well, I'll buy yours then. This was like a. This yeah. was. A, and so by the way, we angles. don't improve through this shit. No. We actually don't. It's like, it's it's what happens is the more the second place product always wins by being more vicious. To. Yeah, like Microsoft the... versus Apple. Right. Microsoft is is bullshit software. It's har <laughs> compared to Apple. I know, believe me, it's horrible. But Bill Gates is a capitalist, and he was vicious, and he fought Apple, and so for some years anyway. Yeah, yeah. America w lived on shitty computer technology because of his. It was a point ambition. where we all thought Apple was gone. No, it's VHS it versus VHS beta. versus beta. Beta yeah. is still used today. Yeah. Beta videotape is still what most TVs are, uh, TV shows are shot on. Yeah. And we all watched VHS tapes <laughs> because the VHS people said, we make the second best, so we're going to be cutthroat and fucked up and, and pay off people and uh, go to <laughs> litigation and, like, sue Beta. And Beta's like, we just, well, we're making the best kind. We can't even get people to buy it. Yeah. And so everyone gets VHS. Unbelievable. This is Tesla and fucking Edison. Edison it's always, and Tesla, yeah. One guy's a genius and is selling a beautiful thing. The second place guy copies it, doesn't do it as well, and then takes him to court in every over. fucking state in America <laughs> <laughs> and muscles him and fights him. And out Ruins draws his him, credibility. gets some fucking Texan to pay for it, and then uh, we all have to buy the shitty product. You're fucking brilliant. It's so true. That, it's the same with cars. They would be better if the, what you're saying was actually true. If it was like the guys still on the assembly no, line. Yeah. Or, you're, yeah. You're, but the, your coffee story is deeply depressing. It is. what happens it was, everywhere. This, I was thinking, as you were uh, talking about that, like the Starbucks popping up are like mm. weeds. Yes. Taking out the really nice fucking crop. Yeah, the nice that's flowers. what they do. They're and just, they're only they're just putting the... weeds all over the place right. to destroy it.